Raven Foundation automobile uh, collection. It uh, came all the way from Toronto. So there they are. The real unusual. Now, you notice, Grap, at the end of this film, you'll see them all together in, uh, in, on display. I had a chance to go over and chew a few tires, and uh, it was really, really great. There they are all together now. Isn't that nice? Huh. No, uh, I want, uh, oh, there I am. Oh, I want you to uh, make sure the film's all ready for the news, and I'll uh, help you out to uh, do a little editing of that. I get, <laughs> what are you, your breath, oh, don't, don't breathe. <laughs> Oh, dear. All right, I'll see you later for the news, eh? Yeah, all right. Uh, be good now, old fella. Take care. Oh, i got to go over and join the mayor now. <sighs> Boy, they're having their problems over there. I can see them through the TV screen here. There's Grandpa and Marvin Mouse. Marvin's supposed to be here joining me in a minute. Oh, I can see him. Don't, 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 no running across the street, Marv. Well, it was interesting to look at some of the old automobiles and Grandpa Wood, uh, who could be better uh, to describe them, because he's been around a long time. Right now, I'd like to talk about a man who was prime minister for many terms, very surprising amount. His name, William Lyon Mackenzie King. And uh, his story is quite interesting. He was a man of very many hobbies, a man of uh, many years in politics. William Lyon Mackenzie King was the 10th man to become prime minister succeeding Arthur Meehan, and we've talked about Arthur Meehan. Prime Minister King was born in 1874 and died in 1950 at the age of 76 years. He was born in Kitchener, Ontario, and was educated at the University of Toronto. He entered Parliament in 1908 and held several important posts and succeeded Sir Wilfrid Laurier as leader of the Liberal Party in 1919. He was Prime Minister from 1921 to 1926, from 1926 to 1930. Is that it? No, no, wait. He was Prime Minister again from 1935 until 1948. You've got to be kidding. No. In 1948, he retired from active political life, passed away in 1950. Once again... Well, I'll say, just a sec, where sh that, your grandfather there on the wall, there, a picture of him there, you see him? Mm-hmm. Uh, how long was he mayor? Uh, my grandfather was mayor for 20 years. Oh, and how long was your dad mayor? For 20 years. And you were mayor? For 20 years. You mean 60 years altogether in Mayor Bob's? Mm-hmm. That's uh, 59 years too long. <laughs> Are you coming up here with stop your insults? I want, what, what, oh, well, uh, thank you very much. I was, remember I mentioned, uh, about an hour ago that I wanted some lettuce for my, uh, for my salad. Well, there, don't eat with your mouth full. There you are, old pal. It's all for you. We're going to have some uh, nice salad in a minute. What would you like, Thousand Island? Yes, I would. All right, go jump in a lake and find one. Uh, this, look, look, <laughs> yes, shaky pie, yes. All right, let's enjoy it. Uh, I want to just repeat once again that uh, it is very unusual, but to Prime Minister... Lyon Mackenzie King or William Lyon Mackenzie King. Can you imagine from 1921 to 1926, from 1926 to 1930, and then from 1935 to 1948, Prime Minister, all those, those years. Thank you. Well, stop that now. Don't throw food around. Mildred. Yes, sir. Uh, we're ready to go now. Yes, sir. I have to fill up some balloons for the children's birthday party. Yes, sir. Oh, did you hear that? I have to fill up some balloons for the children's birthday party. Uh, I, hey, this is a great cue, Mildred. This is a great cue for a little song. <laughs> you ready? Up, up, and away, my beautiful, my beautiful balloon. The world's a nicer place in my beautiful balloon. It wears a nicer face in my beautiful balloon. We can sing a song, sail along the silver sky, or we can fly 